So this is going to be a uh, demonstration of how to install uh, bullet physics on your uh, Mac OS X using Xcode and set up a very em just an empty project template. Uh, it was a little bit of a pain in the ass, so I figured I'd put a demo put a demo together. Um, start by pulling down the code. I actually there's a mirror on GitHub. I've forked that mirror, so I'm just going to go ahead and clone it to my local computer clone it wherever you want it pause for the wait for the magic of video to uh, complete the download as you can see I've pulled down the bullet physics to my local machine we can move down and take a look at the source Here's our source. We're going to go ahead and make a build directory. Um, so we're going to cd into our build directory and then we're going to follow this nice little tutorial here on how to build a framework. Building a framework is nice because it puts all of the parts in, of the uh, library in one location. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll run CMake here. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build the demos because I want to be able to use them later. And again, I'm going to pause the video while CMake does its thing. So CMake's finished. Next thing we're going to do is we want to uh, go ahead and make this bad boy. This will take a little bit, so again, I'm going to pause the video. So it's uh, through the magic of video, it's completed doing the build process, so now we're going to install it. So we're going to sudo make install. And we're going to type in our password. This will put all the framework parts in the correct places. Uh, so you can take a look, it's putting in this new framework. Uh, called linear math as well as bullet dynamics, bullet collision, bullet soft body. So those are seem to be the major frameworks in this. So we're basically done. Uh, we can exit out of the console, minimize this and this. Now we're going to go ahead and start up Xcode. And we're going to go ahead and create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a command line. Next. Uh, give it a, since this is going to be a hexapod rubber, we're going to call it the learning hexapod. C++ project. Uh, next. I need to find a place to put this, so I'm going to put this, this is just for my artificial life class, we'll go ahead and put it in that directory. Okay. Next thing we need to install the, or in, in, a link in the libraries or the frameworks, so we go here, and uh, show you where I went to that. So you click on your target, you click build phases, link binaries with libraries, we go down here until we find bullet. We'll just basically add everything that has to do with bullet. Um, and we'll add that. Probably also need to add um, the linear linear math framework. So we have all our frameworks installed. So I don't think I need. That one. Don't need 
that one either. No, we'll leave it for now. All right, we'll open up our main CP. Let's link in the or add the header file. Include. So uh, when you add frameworks like this, you basically add the uh, framework and then the path to the file. Which we'll add bt common, and then we'll save that. And let's give it a build. And succeeded. So you successfully installed the Bullock physics library and uh, created a template project. Uh, congratulations.